Hey guys, welcome back to my next book preview video. This week we have the brand new Frank Frazetta, an artist tribute. So a quick look at the front and the back. Uh, you might have noticed as well what I was showing there is just how thick this book is. So it's 250 pages. This is a 3D total book. And you'll notice as well that the cover has like this cutout effect, I guess is the way I would describe it. So that's really cool. I really like that. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so first of all, just your warning, there is going to be some nudity throughout this. Um, if you're a fan of Frank Frazetta, you probably expect that kind of thing. And there are going to be some well-known paintings that you guys will recognise if you are a fan of Frazetta. But if we look at the contents here, I'll leave this open for a second just in case you want to pause and have a look through. See if you recognise some of the artists that have contributed to this one. I'm familiar with a couple of them, but not all of them, so I'll be quite intrigued. And um, that's one thing I always say about the uh, the 3D Total books is they always help me find uh, new artists to follow on social media and things. So what actually is this book? Because it's not obviously just Frazetta's work. There is some of his work throughout in like gallery form, probably 20 to 30 pages or so. Um, but this is actually 11 artists, quite well-known artists, whose work have been heavily inspired by Frank Frazetta, the, the grandmaster of fantasy art, as he is described in this. And it's their tribute work, their paintings and drawings inspired by uh, Frank's illustrations. Each section, each artist has this bit about how they discovered Frazetta and, you know, the, the inspiration, why they liked his work. There's a little interview with each, each artist as well, and you can see here a little gallery. And of course, the step-by-step -step work process of the, the project, you know, their theme, their chosen illustration, I guess. Um, with this being a, a Frazetta-inspired book, I think you will see heavily, you know, fantasy warriors, overly muscular sort of um, barbarians, uh, these beautiful women, quite muscular as well. This one in particular, by the way, I think is very Frazetta. I think this artist has nailed this very well. Um, I've only glanced through this. I was too excited to hold off recording, so it only arrived about 10 minutes ago. But to me, I noticed that about three or four of these projects in particular really stood out as being, you know, Frazetta-esque, inspired by Frazetta. I think primarily this book is made up of illustrations, but I know there are some sculptures throughout and some 3D models and things like that. The next project is another sculpture one. This is the Shiflet Brothers. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but apologies to all the artists that feature in this book. I'm terrible at pronouncing names. So again, we've got this section with almost like a miniature interview, uh, a little bit about their work, but also how they found Frazetta, how it inspired their work. In fact, with these, these two brothers, um, you can see in their other book, 3D Total have another of their books as well. You might recognise it here. This is Death Dealer, who is Frank Frazetta's character, I believe. Onto The Warrior by Fran Garces. So again, I might be pronouncing the name wrong, but I wanted to stop and just show his other book. This is another 3D Total one. I will put links to this in the description box below. But definitely check that out because this guy's work is amazing. I mean, all of the artists in this are, but to me, uh, this guy's one of my favourite. The book is incredible. Really good price. He's got this sort of dark, gritty style. I think it'd work quite well for Frazetta. And I absolutely love seeing his ballpoint drawings and things like that. I would say Fran is probably known, again, for these dark sort of skeleton, demon type characters. In fact, I made a video a long time ago of me sketching some like random demons in ballpoint pens. So I was inspired by his work for that. I'll put links to that below as well. This one here is actually one of the advertised covers for the book. If you had yours on pre-order, you might recognize it. Uh, I assume they decided not to use it for the cover unless there are different versions. Uh, so don't quote me on that. But this was one of the ones I thought was one of the very, you know, very close to Frazetta in terms of the, you know, the, the illustration the style. The colours, things like that, I thought that was really cool. And in terms of the actual step-by-step -step process of this book, I wouldn't say it's a how-to-draw book, despite it giving you the step-by-steps. Personally, I'd call it more of a... Maybe more of like an insights book, um, seeing how these artists work and, you know, how they used his inspiration to create their projects and things. This one was really interesting because I wasn't familiar with this artist, um, but it's really cool to see the work he's done on God of War. Obviously, a lot of you guys will recognise these characters. So some really big names in this book. Um, in this bit here, they actually mention how in God of War, a lot of these characters were inspired by Frank Frazetta. So I thought that was really interesting. So you can see a little bit here what I was talking about, the insight into the process. I did notice when I flipped through, there's quite a lot about composition and things like that. 
um, which is, is really cool actually to learn from other artists and sort of see their thinking process throughout. As well as that, the gallery sections are pretty cool too. So this one actually, along with another one with a horse in, I thought was really, again, really Frank Rosetta, as daft as that sounds. And to me, it's because of the like really overly muscular horse. Something about it, and I mean that in a good way. Um, I absolutely love this artist's sketches, by the way. I think these are absolutely incredible. I'd love to see a full book of these. Um, but yeah, the, the horse design is just it's exactly how Frank draws a lot of his horses. Again, in those previous books mentioned, I remember seeing a lot of horses and I commented on it in the video. So I don't know how to pronounce this artist's name, so I'm not going to try and butcher it here. But his um, his sketchbook is very influenced by Frazetta. You can see if you've got that, these sort of Death Dealer characters again um, that we can see here. His paintings are absolutely unbelievable. If you look at these up close, the colours, absolutely insane. So I'm going to start flicking through this a little bit quicker just to show this last section. Again, I'm going to have to start blurring bits. There is a bit more nudity towards the end. Um, but I'd be intrigued to know which of these, these art styles you guys like the most, which you find inspiring, which you think are very much like Frazetta. Um, I think some of them don't look exactly like Frank Frazetta's work, but they sort of show you in the breakdown what part of his work influenced them. So, for example, in some it was the characters, some it was the actual the composition and the way he laid it out. This one here, I actually, I really like this one. It's a little bit more, maybe not cartoony, but less realistic. But I really liked what I read about the insights and the style stood out to me. So it's very vibrant and I love the, the actual character design, this giant cat. In fact, there's quite a few cats um, towards the end of this book. You'll see other people's like this. And I wanted to point this out because I absolutely love this. And a lot of Frazetta's work has a beautiful woman with like, you know, a cat or two. And when I say cat, I mean, you know, lion, tiger, not a house cat. Um, but these are a bit more vibrant to Frazetta's work, but you can still see the influence. Kind of reminds me of that place on Game of Thrones, but I can't remember the name of it. Again, another artist that I'm not familiar with Fernando, but I, I recognize the name a little bit. And his paintings in here are absolutely stunning. They are so detailed, especially the faces on his characters. Um, yeah, so again, this one I think was inspired by the composition of a piece. Yeah, so we can see that here. So the last few projects, I don't know if I've missed any, but I've shown way too much of the book. Another one inspired by the combat and fight scenes here. And then the Death Queen, a sort of similar theme again throughout the Frazetta, um, Frazetta books. It's really interesting with this one because they show you how they took their own photo reference and work from that. And again, dealing with like the composition and things like that. So another like overly muscular horse that I mentioned earlier, this was one that stood out to me. A much more realistic style in this one, but really cool design of the warrior and the horse. Um, and then at the end, we've got this small gallery section. So again, a lot of you guys will be familiar with this, but I'm always happy to learn more of Frank's work. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Sorry for the long video. I hope you found it useful if you were intrigued by the book and looking to buy it. A quick look at the artist there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, everyone.